Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with that note, it is time for us to get started with our first keynote speaker of the day, Mr. L.V. Krishnan, CEO, Time Media Research, who will be talking on Insight Session Outlook on SMB Advertising Intelligence Trends 2022-2023. So with this, uh, let's give him a huge, huge round of applause as we welcome him on the stage. Come on, audience, you can be much better with that. Let's get more energy. Good afternoon to all of you all. You know, just a couple of days back, I came across this media report which said the fact that almost on 30,000 brands in India connect with 80% of the consumers in the Indian market, actually. And these 30,000 brands are small brands. What it said beyond those lines was the fact that today, the brands from Bharat are walking shoulder to shoulder with those multinational brands which came around 50 years back or 60 years back into this particular country. And that is an enormous pride for all of us, Sachin. And I believe the fact that when I take you through this presentation and, um, and went through the data, uh, a huge amount of data that we collate on advertising trends across different platforms, some of the brands and some of you all well, with owning those brands, sitting in this particular room, in the next, next decade, will probably be among the top 100 global brands um, uh, coming from the Indian market. So it's an additional pride for this forum to have hosted 10 years before that happens, um, to be sitting in the same room and um, talking to you all. So with that, um, let me take you through some of the things that we found in the data. Uh, there's a huge amount of uh, insights available, actually. I just culled out a few bit of it to take you through what it looks like as the new era of uh, uh, Indian brands emerging into the global market. So what uh, we're doing, basically, is focusing on three things. Why the focus on SMB in an advertising spend uh, arena? Uh, evolution of how this SMB advertising has happened uh, on the on the adx level, and we have picked up one other category called spices to see how it has emerged and what kind of um, competition exists within that particular category itself. And you'll be amazed to see the fact that while we talk about competition in categories like shampoos and soaps led by multinational brands uh, fighting it out, even in a, a category as small as spices, actually. You have so many Indian brands that are fighting for the consumer's attention. The reason for focusing on SMB, of course, is the fact that uh, today it has almost around six and a half crore uh, players playing out in that particular market in different categories, occupying different consumer segments and uh, in retail stores as well as in income uh, space. But, and definitely it's one of the biggest ones that is contributing to the Indian GDP growth rate. Apart from that, it's the entrepreneurs who are pioneering these products, who are energizing these particular categories that are leading the way, creating employment, as well as, of course, uh, the business, new businesses that consumers are interfacing with. And Government of India has already recognized that. But the most important thing that we want to leave behind here is the fact that the SMB market penetration has grown multifold after the, during and post the COVID scenario primarily probably led by the e-com platforms that have come in place and allowing them to transact the goods business over a larger pan-India market. So when you look at advertising at an overall level uh, in the last one year, it's around 74,000 crores of money has been spent on different platforms, television, print, radio, digital, etc. But when you start breaking it down, there is a very interesting element of surprise that comes in, actually. The minute we talk about 74,000 crores, we talk, think about a Unilever or a Procter & Gamble or a Hero Motors advertising in a big way. But what you're seeing is basically 47% of that 74,000 crores is led with only around 0.03 advertisers, actually. Okay. Of a scale of around 500,000 advertisers, just 0.03 advertisers, percent of advertisers, actually contribute to 50% of advertising. 
There is a 1% of set of advertisers who contribute the rest 38%. And the long tail of 99% of advertisers contribute to 15%, actually. And SMB segment comes within this 38 and 15%. It's broken down into, uh, into either both these two interfaces, actually. So in a, in a large manner, the growth that is fueling advertising and, and making advertising spends look as big as 74,000 74, crores is largely coming from this 99.9% .9 of advertisers who are uh, energizing different media to build uh, their platforms and create content and serve consumers uh, or, or engage consumers with entertainment and information. What we did was that with E4M, we picked up 600 of them, actually, from that long list of uh, SMB advertisers, and we, which are spread across 350 categories and 400,000 plus advertisers. And we looked in depth to understand what is actually happening uh, with them, actually. Now, if you break this down over the three years, 2019, 20, 21, actually, the green section of the bar, stack bar, is actually the SMB contribution to advertising. And the rest comes in the, in the yellow bar, actually. Each year, they almost contribute to 5 to 6% of uh, advertising, which is almost around 4,000 crores. So if you put together all the SMB brands, actually, okay, the 600 brands that we have put together, we are listed down, those 600 brands contribute to almost around 4,000 crores out of the 70,000 crores uh, that are being spent on advertising. During 2020, they actually collapsed. So in 2021, they, revo they, they have recovered back very well. So when you compare 2021 to 2020, which is the green section, you see a 29% growth rate. But when you look at 2021 compared to 2019, they're still lower than the 2019 total volume of advertising spends in the country. So for for 4,300 crores that they spent in 2019, we're still around close to 3,900 odd crores uh, in 2021, actually. If you look at categories, these, come, uh, these uh, SMB sector comes in, out in the 600 SMB sectors come in, actually. They are vast, actually. Okay. But if you look at the top 10, which is contributing to bulk of their uh, spends, which is around 40 to 50% of their spends, actually, you see uh, e-com uh, sector, retail and education sector, uh, and uh, dominating across all the platforms. Actually. Whether it's to take TV, print, radio, or digital, retail and e-com largely dominates that particular one. And one of the key categories that is emerging from that is also spices. Okay. Homegrown, uh, locally produced products, traditionally produced products, have become one of the largest advertisers from this particular category of, uh, of uh, genre of advertisers. Besides, of course, you see, besides e-com, you also see um, retail outlets, uh, advertising, specifically the jewelry category or textiles and clothing category. You see uh, students focus on competitive exam um, centers advertising. And of course, you see home products slowly coming up in a big way. If you break the pre and post of pandemic and look at how advertising has actually happened, okay, there's a big bounce back that you see towards the end of the year. In the October. So the, the yellow bar, yellow stack, is basically the October-December period, which is a festive period. The July-September period is the light green, April-June is a dark green, and the red is a Jan-March period between 2019-2021. Across all the four key mediums, print, TV, digital, and radio, what you're seeing in 2021 is there's been a big bounce back of advertising in the last quarter of 2021. So that portrays what kind of growth one is going to expect in 2022 and as we go into 2023, actually. 40% of advertising is actually happening in that particular period compared to the previous years uh, 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 for the same uh, quarter. So let's break it down further now into television, print, radio, and digital, and see what's exactly happening. 
some, some key nuggets. The interesting thing with SMB advertisers is how they advertise, focus on television. Very, very focused in terms of the kind of genres that you want to consume and what they want to communicate in terms of messaging action. Okay. While if you look at on the left hand side, the overall advertising scenario, which is primarily focusing on genres like movies, a bit on news, which is around 20% of money being spent on news, and then the rest of the genres come in. For, for the SMBs, it's very clear that who their audiences are actually. Most of the audiences are on the news platform, so 40% of spends actually happening on that side. And then, of course, followed by the feature films that comes as a second six segment action. If you look at the kind of advertising they are doing, because of the sharper messaging that most of the products do in the SMB sector, the duration or the commercial durations that they use is also much shorter. So they know the fact that consumers have very little width of time that they connect with on advertising. And therefore, their focus is very, very, very clear. Most of the advertising happens if you look at the lower section, which is the SMB advertising, 43% of advertising is in less than 20 seconds. While at an overall level for advertisers, it's only 26% of advertising, which is less than 20 seconds, actually. Okay. If, you look, if you think the fact that SMB advertisers don't have the money to spend on advertising, you're wrong. Okay. Look at the celebrities that they've used, actually. Okay. They've used, like a Goldie Masala using Salman Khan, or an Amitabh Bachchan or a MS Dhoni coming up as brand ambassadors, actually. So there has been a major uh, usage of celebrities to get messaging across uh, to the end consumers. So they're not, not short, they're not falling short of seeing how do I connect with consumers and make my brand present, uh, presence uh, connected with consumers effectively in nature. If you look at the number of endorsers that's been used by SMB sector, in that 600, among the 600 brands that we picked up, there are almost 100 odd brands that have used endorsers in a significant way, which is almost one third of all the advertisers uh, who have used end endorsements from celebrities uh, during the course of 2021. If you look at the digital side, there are there are 165 web publishers that have used. So it's not a, while YouTube and Facebook are large platforms that are used by SMBs uh, significantly, um, but money has also gone into various other web publishers uh, to get eyeball transactions, actually. Okay. Although later on, I'll show you that digital advertising among SMBs is a lower than the, uh, low, in lower proportion than the, uh, than the regular advertisers. Most of the money is being spent on traditional media, TV, and and, uh, and print, because they're getting a continuous feedback from consumers on how they're connecting back with the brand. There are 200 plus categories that have actually used SMB uh, uh, in digital platform, that have, in SMB that have used digital platform. There are 345 advertisers that have used it, and around 1,000 odd brands. So digital is a little slower uh, in growing within the SMB sector, but it's definitely taking shape in a big way. If you look at uh, categories using digital in the SMB sector, we saw is using traditional medium among the SMB sector. You see traditional medium being higher. There are around 270 plus brands using traditional media compared to 200 brands who have used, 200 categories who have used digital. Even if you're looking at brands, there are around 2,600 brands who have used traditional media, which has only just 1,000 brands using digital platform. If you see the big brands categories and advertisers using digital platform. You see a lot of uh, e-education e or edutech brands, rental products, okay, like, um, like what you see over here, um, the e-com home interior furniture, which is for Lanco, using almost 7% of the advertising um, on digital platforms. So, so you see a combination of education, uh, e-com, and rental companies using digital as you head into 2021. And if you break that down between video ads and display ads, which is more or less similar. So unlike regular advertisers, which are which have a skew towards display advertising on digital, there's a huge amount of focus here on the video advertising to get com communication of the brands through very, very effectively on digital platforms. And between YouTube and Facebook, which takes the largest share of the advertising, okay, it's not it's not very, very different. Most of the advertisers indeed duplicate to between 
between Facebook and, and uh, YouTube. Although there are very clear um, uh, separation too, actually. You see brands uh, which are also very aligned to specific platforms, specifically when you go down the order in categories like spices, etc. Between digital and traditional media, at this point we are seeing a 20% overlap, which is lower than the regular advertisers' overlap between digital and, uh, and traditional media. If you look at print quickly, while print gets most of its advertising from north and to a certain extent from west market, SMB advertising and print has largely been heavily focused on the south zone market actually. South has become, become the, one of the biggest contributors to print advertising from the SMB sector. That's also because of the fact that, uh, that the retail category is big in South, much bigger in South than in West, North, and East. Okay. Language-wise, obviously, therefore, because of the skew towards South, South language becomes the important platform for publications to look at. Okay. And festival advertising. Uh, is a big thing among the SMB advertisers. They use festive occasions to push the brand very effectively, and the returns are also been pretty good for them during this period. That's why you see October, December being a key element of a period of advertising, plus at the same time, uh, the media mix, specifically print, heavily being used during the festive sign. On radio, uh, again, you see from among SMB advertisers, South becoming a very, very strong contributor to the overall advertising of SMB on an all India basis, actually. Okay. And in radio, too, just like on TV, you see shorter duration advertising, clear branding coming through very, very uh, clearly for SMB sector. So that's why we lead on to the spices as a case study to give you an idea about how brands are using media in a significant way. And we picked up this because it was among one of the top five categories. And we also saw this category buzzling with, uh, with competition in a significant way. So if you look at this uh, category, you, you see digital and print, very, very small component, actually, around 6%, actually. Bulk of them is largely into TV, which is two-thirds of them are on, or three-fourths of them are on television. And uh, another one-fourth one of them close to is on radio. That's on, the, for, on a localized level basis. Okay. If you look at how things have changed over a period of time, actually, okay, print is the one which has degrown. Okay. But although the digital may have been just 4% of the overall value-wise, the growth seems to be pretty significant in nature. Digital has grown by almost 172 times, uh, unlike television, which is around 27%, or radio at around 14% growth rate, actually. So digital is growing effectively within this particular category. Okay. Uh, brands are attempting digital and trying, uh, trying it out and seeing whether, they are, uh, whether they're giving me the ROI, same ROI as what television has given me or radio has given me in nature. But they are not gone completely switched over to digital. And you'll see that in the next slide where, uh, where you see presence across all the four mediums by most of the brands, actually. So if you look at SMB categories, print and radio has minorly declined in 2021, and TV and digital is where the, we see the growth in ad spends are happening. And this is one of the most competitive brand categories that I said. So if you look at the big brands, uh, like a Shubham Goldi Masala or the Shakti Masala, all of them are jostling for space and consumer attention in nature. And because there's so much of competition, okay, that spread across media is pretty strong in nature. So they're not isolated to one single media and saying the fact that's where our focus will be in. Most of these brands try to focus on all the, all the medium and trying to connect with wherever the consumers are getting available in. So if you look at the, the top 10 brands, they almost take away around 74% of spends on television, almost 90% of spends on print, almost 92% on radio, and almost 99% of them on digital, actually. Okay. So, so although the category may have something around close to 30-odd brands in terms of competition, okay, it's the top 10 brands that are dominating advertising in a significant way. If you 
look at some of these brands like Shubham Goldi Masala uh, over year to year from each of the medium perspective. Okay. So, uh, in most of the years, most of them have grown actually in, uh, when you compare it to the previous years. So in terms of ad volumes and ad spends, there's consistent growth rate that is actually happening. And at the same time, what we are also noticing is, is that because competition as the, the distribution has democratized the brand availability across markets, the, the need to fight in the marketplace has also started growing with continuous new messaging, new creative, as well as shorter duration communication happening significantly. So to end up uh, this small nutshell presentation, uh, if you were supposed to look at the growth of where advertising is going to be for SMB sector in the near future, and what is their contribution going to be for, for in the next five years, actually. Okay. We already know the fact that you know, BSE is expecting almost to, it, or witnessing almost on 60 plus SMBs to bring in equity funds to this year. Or uh, the 16, 2020 saw almost on 16 SMBs raising almost on 100 crores plus in IPOs. And MSME is encouraging the fact that uh, uh, you all move on to the government marketplace. From an advertising perspective, this is what we are seeing actually. The SMB sector, which is marked in the green uh, um, bracket of the bar, stack bar, is actually showing almost around close to 14% growth rate next year, which is almost around close to 30% more than the average growth rate of, of, the, of the advertising industry. And a 12% growth rate year after from 23 to 25 actually. While in terms of market share uh, between SMBs and the rest of them, they, they will retain around 6 to 7% market share numbers. Okay. But growth rate is a much more faster growth rate than the average advertising industry growth rate that's happening. In. So this is a sector that we all need to keep looking at it closely. And it's amazing how they are ma making this happen purely with infrastructure support and brand solution supports happening driven internally by their own organizations without much external support. So that's what it is. Um, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you gleamed out some bit of information from this, from this short presentation. Thank you. So we just requested to please join us on the stage. We've got a lovely momento to give away to you. So ladies and gentlemen, first up, a huge, huge uh, round of applause. And I'll just be stepping in, and uh, if we have Mr. Ooja, we'd love to have him on the stage, but if not, I'll just take the liberty of stepping in and giving you the momento if that works, yeah?